Cop TV. Watch your life make sense. I would like to talk about everybody's favorite subject, sex, okay? Why? I mean, we have the number one media industry in the world right now is pornography. Has been for, for years. The number one, they, they actually spearhead technology, DVDs, the internet, the first yeah. use of video on the internet was... Thanks to them we developed, right? Exactly, exactly, thanks to them. Why is it that this um, obsession, this uh, preoccupation drives uh, individuals and uh, societies. What's, what's behind that? Why so strong of a force? Well, when I study these things, I normally look at history, first of all. I see that in history, like prostitution were, mm -hmm. was always there. Mm -hmm. They say it's the oldest profession, right? right? In humanity. But it wasn't in today's kind of explosion that I mentioned, there wasn't that much demand. Up until a uh, hundred years ago, there were novels about right. love and romance, and you know, everything was around. Um, the whole of humanity was always kind of revolving around sex, but sure. the topic wasn't really. It didn't belong to to, to, to the just the sex and that's it. To the animal action, there were music and painting around it. Today, it's very kind of. I would say it's 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 aimed towards direct kind of blunt. Right. Right. And where does it come from? It comes from our ego. Our ego is growing all the time. Our egos grow from generation to generation. Every next generation is more egoistic than the former. So we develop technologies in society and education, culture and whatnot. And at the same time, they develop sex to become more and more and more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Look at if you, a hundred years ago, for example, yeah. started a sex project shop, whatever, right. I think you would go bankrupt. Yeah, of course. Uh, no one would, you know, would really go inside. They would settle for a woman. Today, no. You need all these props. Well, why is that? I mean, why, why, why do we need more variety, more things, different kinds? What's... It's because our egos don't let us satisfy themselves, satisfy this desire in an ordinary way. But we this is a basic desire. This is a this. This should be just something like eating or something normal. Yeah, but you can see that this basic desire is growing because of our ego, and it's becoming not so basic. It's basic in animals. Okay. So they have. A connection, say, several times a year, like in the autumn or in springtime. Yeah, right? of course. Right? That's it. They have kids, and that's it. You know, Maybe not enough, babies, and that's but... It. Uh, okay. They relax until next year, right. you know, next season, whatever. It's right. the same for plants, you know. A bee comes, takes the female part, the male part, whatever, and the plant... Humans, first of all, have no time. No specific time. And they don't need any means. Only the others, the opposite sex. Right. And even that's not enough. Yeah. They have to control it. Control the other sex. They have to change partners. Animals don't have that. Right. The day you're connected to one woman, a minute after you satisfied yourself with her, you want a connection with another woman. Right. So first of all, you're never satisfied by having sex, just sex as it is. Mm -hmm. You want more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, know, you want a woman, say, you want her terribly, the minute you're finished with her, you don't want her. Right. Meaning, so what happens is, it's as if you want to receive a pl certain pleasure, and the minute you reach it, it disappears. So how can we None tweak that? How can we correct that? You only have one tiny point of contact as if you're touching it and it disappears. Right. So how can we correct that? What do I need to do? Do I need to maybe... I mean, the one train of thought goes, then, let's do it all. Let's do it all. No, the, 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 the problem is not that, Andrew. It's if in previous generations 
you know, we had a small ego. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. You know, you know the, the British six. Yes. Right. We, you know, we, we do it the usual way, you know, it's okay. But when our sexual desires grow because of the ego, they intensify and intensify, we become, we become more and more dissatisfied. We don't know what to do anymore. We try to do it through, with toys, with many, many partners, all kinds of changes, uh, variations, uh, homosexuality, you know, all kinds of ways, uh, all kinds of uh, dolls and... What but uh, nothing helps. It's because our will to receive, our desire to receive, our ego has become so overgrown and overblown that we can't so satisfy. So how can we? How, we need to satisfy it. It appears more this desire pathetic. appears, and we need to satisfy it. You won't be able to. I want to try. Even now, <laughs> even now you can see that you're constantly hysteric about satisfying this desire, mm -hmm. and you constantly know that you're not going to, in no, advance, it, brings... you know, it be for only a second. What's to do? That's a hopeless state. We're at a what hopeless kind of a state then. A lot of people are in this state. There is a solution. Okay. You're saying if I had that solution, I would take the internet, with the media, and this whole industry of sex, I would put it in my pocket now. I don't know, you, you know, could either restrict whole, all sex or like that. fulfill it, try to fulfill it. And I understand that it's almost impossible yeah. to fulfill. No, you can't. Because we come to understand that the minute we touch a pleasure, the pleasure neutralizes the desire, cancels it, and then both desire and pleasure disappear. The sex is precisely what brings you in the most conspicuous way to see that. Let's, let's look at it. As is that what it's for? Is that what sex is for? A very big desire. Yes, mm -hmm. for a certain pleasure. The minute you meet the pleasure, the desire immediately disappears and the pleasure disappears. And I can't even look at what I just did. Okay. And a, a second later, and again I start searching and I think, how am I going to get on? At least a tiny point of contact between the desire and the pleasure. That's not a life. It's a constant chase. Okay. Meaning, we have to find a scientific method, a psychological one, physiological one, that will bring us to a point where the pleasure doesn't neutralize the desire, but only fulfills it and satisfies it and remains in it. And then I will have a constant sensation of satiation fulfillment. But you just, Always. okay, so how does that achieve? You said when the pleasure meets the desire, it's extinguished. Well, I got a trick. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to hear it. Well, I know you're willing to hear it. <laughs> the trick is this. You got to rise above the ego. If you rise above the ego, because what do we say? When we've grown with our egos and our, the sexuality is growing with the ego, mm -hmm. we could not satisfy it. Mm -hmm. But if we correct the ego and turn it to, instead of receiving, to a giving one, then the more I, it's, it's hard to imagine, but if I could receive that pleasure, mm -hmm. sexual pleasure, mm -hmm. in order to give it to another, the pleasure would go through me to another, and it wouldn't neutralize, be neutralized by So there's two desire. things. I need to receive even sexual pleasure in order to give it to another, to please another. Yes. This is how I do it. This is the trick. Yes. If you could connect the other's desire, a woman right. in this case, right. to your desire, okay. and there would be no difference between you. But you, there is a big difference between these two things. No, 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 no. In desires? In, that, so there's no difference in the desire. Her desire okay. to enjoy and your desire to okay. enjoy, both of these desires would exist only to provide satisfaction and pleasure for another, not for yourself. And then you would feel so unending how does one, pleasure. How does one investigate somebody else's desires, especially the opposite sex? But how does one come in contact, investigate? Is it through sharing, speaking, experimenting? I mean... 
That's why we have Kabbalah. And that's why it's called Kabbalah, the wisdom of reception. Kabbalah is about to receive. It's the wisdom of how to receive, how you can receive endless pleasures. And the sexual pleasure is the greatest pleasure. Mm-hmm. And that too, it falls into it. Now I'm hoping that now that we're going through such a big crisis in it, and people are not satisfied, they don't know what to do, all the medicines that they and the props that they use, it's not going to help them. They'll come to a point where they feel they have no satisfaction. And it's especially Especially so, when, when you have no sexual satisfaction, life becomes worthless. Life becomes very sure. stale. And I'm hoping that it'll happen soon, and then people will come to Kabbalah. They won't have a choice but to rise above the ego, and then they will achieve endless satisfaction. You know what? It's, just like you are, it's as if you're constantly at the highest moment of orgasm, sexual orgasm. You can go mad just constantly being in it. I won't get any work done, I'll tell you that.